Okay, in this video we're going to continue with module 24 and we're going to start with the topic translating the graph of a parabola in one step. So the first thing we need to know is the rules for translations. There's only two kinds of translations and that's a vertical translation and a horizontal translation. So for vertical translation, what that means is that you'll have your parent function, whatever it is, and you'll either be adding a number outside of that, or you'll be subtracting a number outside of that basic uh, function, okay? So for in this case, we have the basic function is x squared, so here's our basic function x squared, and they're adding two on the outside, Here's our basic function x squared and they're minusing two on the outside. So those two would be cases of the vertical translation. Vertical translation means up or down, okay? If you're adding a number, it's going to make it go up that number of units. If you're subtracting the number, it's going to make the graph go down that number of units. For horizontal translation, that's a left or right motion. And what happens here is you're actually adding or subtracting inside the basic function. And so that would be this case, right? You have a square here, but you're adding one on the inside of the square, inside of the parent function. Here you're subtracting one inside the square. So for when you're adding inside the basic function, actually makes it do the opposite that you think and it makes it go left that number of units and if you're subtracting on the inside it makes you go to the right that number of units kind of think what would you have to do to solve for x here you would have to minus c right which minus means it goes to the left side here you would have to add c to get x by itself which means you'd have to move to the positive side the right side so I'm going to use different colors for this problem. So for A, since I'm adding two outside, it's going to go up two units. So each of these points here on this graph are going to shift or translate vertically two units up. So one, two, here's my new point. One, two, here's my new point. One, two, here's my new point. One, two, and one, two. And so now this is my new um, graph for part A. For part B, I'm going to put in pink, and this says to minus 2, which means this one's going to be translated down 2 units. So each one of the original functions, I'm going to move down 2 units. And then I'll draw my parabola. Now in Alex, you just plot the points, the five points, and then hit the parabola button, the graphing button, and draw the parabola for you. Now for part C, I'm going to use green, and since I'm adding one on the inside, it's going to make it move to the left one unit. So I'm going to take all of my original points and move them over to the left one unit. So this point becomes here, this point here, this point here and so on and so forth. And now I have my new parabola in green here where the whole function has just shifted over to the left one. Now the last one I'm gonna do in red, since it's minus one on the inside, that means this graph is gonna go to the right one unit. So again, I'm taking all of the original points and moving them to the right. So here, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here, and this goes there. So then my parabola becomes this. And so it's moving over to the right. Okay, now it looks like a bunch of mess because I drew them all in the same graph. You're gonna end up having to do the same thing when it comes to Alex, okay? So just try to keep your eyes on the original and then shift that one over 
however many units you need to and whatever direction you need to. So we'll do the same thing for the next um, example. So I'm going to do A in purple. I'm going to take the whole thing and I'm going to shift it. Now this is two steps. So I'm going to draw four different graphs then. Let's do one in purple. We'll do one in pink, just so you can see how everything is moving. One in green, and then finally one in red. So in the one in purple says I make it look like this function here. That function there means I need to move to the right three because the minus three inside, right? Inside means goes to the right. Plus two on the outside means it's gonna go up two. So instead of the center being at the origin, it's now gonna be at one, two, three. One, two, three. It's going to be to the right three and up two. And then the curve will go this way. And you're gonna do that same thing with all five points. So if you identify five points on the graph, you're gonna, for each of those five points, you're gonna move them to the right three and up two. And once you have those five points, you, you select the um, graphing tool inside Alex. For the pink one, it's this function here. Well, now I'm adding three on the end. So that means I'm gonna go to the left three and then I'm gonna still go up two because it's positive two on the outside. Positive on the outside means it goes up. Positive on the inside means it goes left. So instead of the center or the vertex being at the origin, it's now going to be back here, but up. And again, all the five points are gonna move and so the parabola is gonna be in this quadrant now. Now for the green, for part C, this has got a minus on the inside, which means it's going to move to the right, the right three units. But it's got a minus two on the outside, which means it's going to go down two units. So instead of the center being at the origin, it's going to be down here. And then if you move all five dots, you'll end up with your parabola down here in this quadrant. Now we'll do the same for the red. So this is plus three, which means it's gonna move left three, and that's a minus two, which means it's gonna go down two. So to the left and down means the vertex is there, and then the parabola opens up this way. Again, you have to do these motions for every single point. All five of those main points are the points you need to translate however you need to translate them. So similarly, this one has now got a different basic graph. The basic graph is now the absolute value of x. This is the shape of the absolute value of x. And there are five points here. 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, negative 1, 1, negative 2, 2. And so if I want to do the first problem, which is this, plus on the inside means it's going to go to the left three units. So I would take each one of these points and it to the left three units and then I would graph that V shape again for part B I'm gonna use red this time I'm minusing two on the outside which means it's going to take the original and move it down two. so I'm gonna take this graph here and shift it down to so this point goes down two units this one each point moves down two units. Make sure you're using the original, not the one from part A. And if I trace these to get the V shape, I get this. In the computer, if you um, select all the points and then hit the graphing tool, it'll graph the V shape for you. Okay, here's another topic. Transforming the graph of a quadratic cubic square root or absolute value. So your parent function can be a quadratic, which is a parabola. It could be a square root, which looks like this. It could be an absolute value, which looks like a V. And that's it. 
the three or cubic cubic can look like this so those are the basic shapes of the graph we just need to know how to shift them and how to maneuver them okay now it's going to say translate horizontally first so that means you're going to look at what's inside the basic function first then stretch or shrink that's going to be what's multiplied on the outside then reflect depending on if there's negatives and then translate vertically which is what you add or subtract on the outside of the basic function okay so we have not covered um the translations of the or the transformations of stretch and shrink or reflect so i'm going to go over that in a separate video and then we'll come back and do this uh, particular problem